welcome to August 2nd, 2022. If I seem a little bit something, it's because there is a smell in the air. It smells like rotten honey. It smells so sickeningly sweet that it's making me sick to my stomach. So is the thought that I have been able to walk a little bit more on my foot, which means I'm this much closer to having to go back to my toxic work environment. So, which also makes me sick to my stomach, but we're here for positivity, and that's what I'm trying to reach out for myself for today and for you, and what I had mentioned before, this is part two to my little things I've been wanting to get done video, and what I'm going to do with that is I wanted to work on squishies, I wanted to get some canvas painting done. Um, I'm not going to show you me working on a crossword because that's boring sounding even to me who likes to do the occasional crossword. Um, then there's a couple art therapy things and origami. So those are some kind of artsy, crafty things that I want to work on. And yes, we are going to do them via picking them out of a bowl. Today is very fate oriented, what the universe wants kind of a thing. So I have my options in here. I'm going to reach into the bowl to see what we're going to work on first. Look like at Art therapy wheel. Uh, this might be reversed to you. It's also really hot and humid where I am, but in order for you to hear me, I can't turn my fans on very high. So I'm just kind of over here and that smell, it, like when it, when it's hot and there's a bad smell in there or a smell you don't like, it's just, I'm so sorry. It's just, it's very enveloping and mind penetrating right now. Back to what we're doing though. So in art therapy wheel, if you don't know what that is, there's a lot of art therapy is this very great technique. Of course, it's not actual art therapy unless it is issued by a therapist, which I am not. I just looked up art therapy ideas that you could do at home. Um, and here's my homemade one. So basically it's like a pie chart that, and I tried to print one off, but my printer and printer system would just not accept the sizes for any of the PDF, printable PDFs of a pie wheel, therapy wheel, any of those kind of things. I could get a circle, but I was like, I can just, so this is, this is mine that I made myself. We're just going to have to work with that FCA's emotional wheel. And this is supposed to help visualize and categorize your emotion. So inside of this little baggie, I have written, like I said, it's all going to be random from here. So I have a bunch of little emotions, just, uh, just a plethora of them, good and bad. I'm going to put them in the little pouch and I'm going to choose, I have eight because eight is my favorite number. Eight is going to be the number of emotions. I'm just going to randomly choose them and then we label them on here. I'm going to start with this one and go around. So that's what we're going to do. Let me get to choosing the emotions. I'll choose the first one on camera for you. You can, And they're all folded up and I made these before. So it's not like I memorized what any of them were. All right. First emotion. First pie is sad. <laughs> okay. Starting off on a good note. And so what you do is you label your pie chart and then once you get it labeled, you paint or color the color that, is so, that you associate with that emotion. So let me pick out the rest of these emotions and we'll get to it. I didn't hit stop again, did I? Okay, here is my emotion color wheel, my art therapy wheel. We have the first one that you saw, sad, capable, satisfied, lost. Happy, rejected, incapable, and the last one is drained. I think the universe is trying to tell me something about myself. So here are the ones that I picked and I just dropped one. I'll pick that up in a second. But I did have a plethora of extras. I did make, I believe I made 18 of these and I made nine of them positive emotions, nine of them 
not so positive emotions um, to try to balance it out. It just turns out that, um, well, I have what, sad, lost, rejected, incapable, and drained. So it's close. It's just a little more of the other one. And now I need to get some paints ready. So let me get that sorted. Okay, so what I did was I looked at the emotions wheel and then I thought about the colors. And as it turns out, um, I imagine a lot of negative emotions with the color gray. So I have some different hues of gray. So I have a black and white with some dark blue that I'm going to mix together over here with this one. I have um, brown to mix with black and white to make a brown gray, which is actually a color I like to do for buildings against the night sky. Then I have just a very light gray is what I'm going for here. Just... We'll get that going. And then I also have what I hope is going to be a darker gray because I added more black than white over here. And then this last one that I uh, didn't grab a popsicle stick for is going to be red, black, and white to make gray with a bit of a reddish background. So let me get these mixed and then we'll get to painting this color wheel or emotional wheel. All right, so we should both be able to see what we're doing right now. So I'm going to start with the lightest gray, and that is going to be sad. So I really think that the reason why I associate so many negative emotions with the color gray is because I'm thinking like rainy days, gray skies, they make you feel tired, they make you feel worn out and unmotivated and so it just really that's why I'm uh, that's my uh, perception of why I think that we do that um, let's see lost I'm going to go with the blue gray so I'm going to do this one next this kind of reminds me of a dark wash denim color is what I came up with uh, slightly but it's just I guess I imagine kind of being lost at sea during storms again that dark just emptiness you just feel empty on those gray days you just don't feel anything you are just a lost person then with the kind of the gray uh, with the brown, I'm going to make that one the rejected color just because, you know, I'm thinking this is more of an iron color where it, it feels, or concrete, this kind of reminds me of concrete, this kind of a gray, which makes me really think of you know, just being trapped, stuck between a rock and a hard place, feeling like you just can't do anything, can't go anywhere, can't move up. So that makes me feel like you're incapable. Um, rejected, I'm going to use rejected to go with the red base brown, just because, I mean, the red based gray, because it just makes me feel angry on top of you know feeling sad and i'm thinking mostly job rejection when i'm thinking rejected because i've had a lot of that lately um so yeah just having that that little hint of red it's you feel mostly sad empty and Drained is the next one, which is going to be our very deep gray. This is the darkest gray because when you feel drained, it, every other negative emotion just goes with that incapable, sad, uh, held back, and just having that really just darkness, I guess. 
So my wheel of emotion is just so bright. Uh, then the next colors we're gonna go with are a lot more bright. And I think I'm going for capable. I'm gonna, I chose purple for capable and I don't know why I just couldn't get out of my head that capable is the color of purple and I have no association like a reason why it's just like maybe amethyst because amethyst is a very strong thing in like the world of crystals in the zodiac um purple is the color of royalty and royalties and royalty you know whether it's from fame or whatever gives you a lot of power then i'm gonna go with satisfied satisfied is green i immediately thought of this nice teal green because when you're satisfied you're content you're peaceful it makes me think of nature and it's very calming a lot of you know, teal is a color that people use just for calming. It's the color of plants. Just, it, that just looks like I did it. It's very satisfying to look at. And then the brightest of the sun. The color for happy is yellow. I have no other color associated quite like yellow for happy. It's bright, it's joy, it's spark, it's emotion, it's energy. There, it's an undeniable brightness. So there's my wheel. Next, on to the next activity. That one took a little while. We have canvas art. That's gonna take a while too. So, um, let me think of how I'm going to do canvas art. Step one, we need a canvas. I know it's going to freak some people out that there's like a smudge on my canvas, but I'm going to paint over it. I don't understand the freak out, but it'll be fine. Okay, so I have some black up here, then some dark blue, a little bit lighter blue, a couple swatches of purple and white. I have a very big brush and we're going that this is a bit wet. You know, it does something for something. And I'm going to see how this works. Gotta wait for that one to dry, so we're gonna go for one more while we're waiting for that to dry. Squishy! Alright, this is another one that's gonna take an eternity, but this squishy I've had for a long time. I just needed to get around to actually doing it. It's already, you know, sanded, scraped, and we just need to get it going. This one needs a little bit of help. I think the face is cute, it's a little elf. Um, I don't know why his ears are the same color as his hair. And then I'm sure this is supposed to give the idea of dimension, but this charcoal gray print, this little printing mistake here, the seams are intense. Um, I'm going to start by trimming the seams and giving him a little bit of a stand. Sand, not stand, sand. Okay, it's been a couple hours, so let's do the update. Here's the squishy things. 
Um, I covered this one in a coat of white slick paint and I'm pretty sure that it needs another coat. I was letting it dry. And then here I put some painter's tape around the edge to try to keep his face safe. And I made a darker green and painted the top of the hat. And I'm going to change the ball to either white or red. I haven't decided that yet. This is still very wet. I just finished painting this. So let me carefully set this somewhere to dry. The tape is stuck to my finger. And I did put the emotions back on this. And I have to tell you. This makes me feel good. The emotion wheel, like seeing the colors, you know, even though all the gray had covered it up, I knew based on the tones of the gray, which ones they were. I didn't go back and look at the footage or anything, but I was like, yeah, the one that has like the reddish undertone, that was, that was rejected. The one that was the, the cement gray, that was the, the incapable and everything. So, having this identifier makes me feel good, even though there's a lot of negative emotions on this. I might go back and do a second one of these with uh, the emotions I didn't get to. And also, I had a change of plans. I had an initial thought. So, this is I'm going for night sky, um, observation sky. I have an idea. This is so wet. I did just finished adding to that and added a top coat layer thing so that is still a little bit wet there uh but yes that's that update we're gonna have to probably get back to this tomorrow uh because i'm losing sunlight and everything needs to dry <laughs>